Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show and we're moving on to the entertainment gist for today. First up on the entertainment gist, cultural group expresses disappointment over portrayal of Ayo Masquerade in Gangs of Lagos. Isale co-descendants union IDU has expressed his blatant displeasure at how Isale Eko showcased in the movie Gangs of Lagos. In a statement issued and signed by the union's chairman, Mr. Yomi, Mr. Yomi Tokosi, it read, and I quote, The attention of the Isaleko Descendants Union, IDU, has been drawn to the very disturbing violence images in a new movie directed by Jade Osiberu and Kemi Lala Akindoju. Executive produced by Adeshago Adetoro, Demi, Demi Olu, Olubango, Olumide Soyombo, Bankole Wellington, Adesua Etomi Wellington, and Kola Aino, and filmed by Grill, Grill Studios and released by Amazon's Prime Video Nigeria called Gangs of Lagos. End quote. In the movie, the unique area masquerade indigenous to the Isaleko community in Lagos was illegally and scandalously depicted as being used as a camouflage, decoy, and super subterfuge for murderers and gangsters operating in the Isaleko area. End quote. Noting the historic heritage of the masquerade, the union frowned at its being portrayed in a despicable and insensitive manner. It added, and I quote, for the avoidance of doubt, the Ayo masquerade has been part of the unique cultural heritage of the Isaleko community of Lagos since 1854, 169 years. And the Ayo is known as a masquerade for celebration in Lagos Island and not an instrument of gangs of criminals as illegally and scandalously portrayed." End quote. <coughs> Most importantly, the movie has brought the Ayo Masquerade and the people of Isaleko into disrepute, who are now deemed criminally minded in the eyes of right-thinking members of the society." End quote. The Isaleko Descendants Union is very disturbed that the culture and tradition of Isaleko can be wantonly exploited in such a despicable and insensitive manner by, by Amazon Prime Video to the detriment of the Isaleko community. The illegal and scandalous depiction of the Ayo masquerade in the movie is actionable and a petition has been lodged by the IDU with the National Film and Video Censors Board, NF and VCB, including other major stakeholders. The IDU has, among other things, requested that the NF and VCB redraw the approval granted to the movie <coughs> Gangs of Lagos and direct the redrawal of the movie from all viewing channels available to the public. The IDU and other community stakeholders will also be considering legal action for the damage done to the culture, tradition and image of the Isaleko community and the Ayo masquerade. End quote. The Lagos State Government, through the Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, has, a, has also expressed displeasure with the promoters of the gangs of Lagos over cultural misrepresentation for portraying the culture of Lagos State in a derogatory manner. Now, this is serious. Yeah, okay, so... <clears throat> this is very, very serious. When I saw it yesterday, I did not even know that it um, has a lot of depth to it like this, that is, they, they had, um, you know, um, they, I just saw cancellation. I didn't, I didn't know that they had forwarded, you know, messages to some bodies. Ah. So people would say, oh, let people be creative. And I truly understand that. And it was something that I watched and I totally enjoyed it. But then thinking about this, because in fact, we have other people too saying that they don't even know this body, that, you know, um, some violence happened right there, uh, you know, that is in the Saleko, and has anybody ever addressed it? But I do understand it again, because I had to like close my eyes and think the next time I see an Ayo, mm. yep. will I be scared? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they always hold that, um, you know, Okwada stick. I, I don't know whether, I'll be scared if the next thing I'm going to see is they're going to bring out a gun. Mm. Um, so somehow, <laughs> I really do not even know how to, how to, because I really truly enjoyed the movie. And I think I understand a bit of what they are saying too. Mm. But does that now mean that people should not create stuff? Th that I don't know where the balance will be because right now I'm that, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Actually, for the very first time, like, so I totally get where all of this is going 
to because there are some people that do not understand some cultures. Yes. But due to watching movies which are supposedly about those cultures, yeah. they believe, they understand everything to know about those cultures. So if this is what is depicted in a movie, and we've seen people from all over the world come to Nigeria for the Ayo Festival. Now, when you hear people saying, oh, I'm going for Ayo Festival, the next thing you'll be like, ah, are you sure they won't kill you? That's what some people will start saying. Because there are some people that also did not even know anything about the Ayo. And from this movie, what they've seen, they believe, oh, that's what these people do. That's what they are. This is what they're about. And it's and not only Ayo so, Festival, um, they celebrate in Nigeria. There yes. are different I'm, festivals. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not particularly going to agree with what you said. Um, so filmmaking is purely imagination. Because somebody, now, right. hold I'm so sorry to yeah. interrupt you. Now, I, when I, while I was reading, the, somebody said perhaps they should have put it there. That this is fiction. Yeah. Yes. So because I, I, it was, I was not stated. I was getting, I was getting there. Oh, is so, this stated? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know this. So fiction. Yeah. So oh, really? film, filmmaking, filmmaking. If you begin to do this, then you're going to begin to restrict um, a lot of people being able to do imagination, <laughs> create, stuff. create their imagination. Yeah. Writers bring it up. It's imagination. If it was written in the beginning, because it's a very sensitive matter. Yes. If it very, was, very. If it was written in the beginning based on a true story, then you have a problem. Like, you have a major problem. Yeah, like, this like did this story. really happen, yeah. But we, we've watched different movies in, in Hollywood, for instance, where you have, for instance, the, the Arab people have been portrayed as the bad guys in American movies mm -hmm, for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then they moved to Russian people. Mm. Imme immediately you watch them, American movies, it, the bad guys are not Russian. They are either from Arab or, in fact, they even started putting Chinese people as the bad guys in the movie. But does that, that does not automatically say Translates to that them this being... is what they are. So um, it's something that they have to sit down and iron out. This is, is pure fiction. Um, writers should be able to have the freedom to, to create, create yes, stuff. It doesn't yeah. mean that that is what it is. I mean, a lot of people know that the Nigerian culture, the Ayo um, culture, it's, it's, it depicts a lot about our history. It depicts mm -hmm. our identity. So there's no way a foreigner will come and say, oh, this is what you people depict. I'm sure they know Nigeria as a... Uh, well, well don't say, don't be so sure yes, that you know that they... Don't, don't be so sure because exactly. I was even going to say that, apart from Ayo, you have Oju Deoba, you have mm -hmm. this. So if somebody created like Oju Deoba and it's yeah. almost like every day, yeah. every time they go for Oju Deoba, it is yeah. chaos. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know, and then you're like, no, of something that we really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I... I so <laughs> the I, reason I'm saying that, I don't even know where to... Because I believe that people should be able to create, mm. but then again, so people I, are protecting their I culture. Think a problem was made by the filmmakers in the sense that you're doing something like this about culture, right? And you don't want to get a misrepresentation uh, yep. at the end of the day. We, we made movies in, my, in Calabar and Crossover State. We made movies about the migration of the people and how um, our culture and all yeah. that stuff. My father made a movie. We went to seek, and we're from the royal family. Okay, we you went, sought um, we you permission. Seek permission. Yeah. We went to the Obong of Calabar. We sought permission so that when we bring it out, there, won't there be is problems. no misrepresentation. Yes. So I along. think things like this, because they went to Isalei Kona. I mean, they shot there. They, they, yeah. Lots of scenes were removed yes. and all that stuff from the movie. So if they went that length, then they should have actually taken this step to make mm. sure that in the future, it doesn't come back to haunt them. Because they've made such a good movie. This, this is just... It's, 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 a, it's a great movie. It's a great movie, really. And the reason I'm saying that, yes, I watched it and I enjoyed it. But then again, if these people are saying that, say, we don't want anything tarnishing our image or our culture, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it is out of place to... Yeah, yeah no, because not, growing up, not, I used to go to, um, whenever they have the Ayo, I usually go to watch it in Isaleko. She and is even from Eko now. Was, yeah, yes. my grandpa had yes. their own. So when I, when I was watching the film, I was not trying to remember that. I, I used to see all these things that I know now. So unconsciously, because I know that at the back of my head, I was like, no, it is just a movie. But there are people that will be like, oh, really? The next time they go for Ayo, they'll start looking under that. Is there something hidden? Mm. Because it's an unconscious thing. And at the end of the day, Nigerians, or let me just say generally Africans, they protect their culture. You can't go to the East and then they say, don't do this and you want to do it. No, they will tell you not to. If you go to the not to, the same thing. So at the end of the day, this set of people, the Saleko Indigenous um, Union, they're just, the Descendant Union, they're just trying to protect their culture. And they're trying to tell people that what you saw in the movie is fiction. What the AO is for, for yeah. what they stand for, is celebration. When there are celebrations, that's when they come out and they represent the spirits of the ancestors.
That is what so it is. The, the funny thing now is I, I would like to understand if, because it's on Amazon, and Amazon is not particularly Nigerian. 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 You know, exactly. so um, if it's the cinemas, yes, they can. And good no, thing so is, they can, so they can, they can, they can write to them. Yeah. Yeah, they can. To Amazon. Yes, they, 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 can, they can. But then that means it's just. If they have their like concrete and they, they, they can see it as well. Uh, but but it's, it's a, I don't know. I, I hope that they will be able to reach. I don't even know what can be done. Like uh, the, the thing is, they should have just taken the right steps yes. to avoid this situation. Because it was because they should have forced. Mm -hmm. because, yes, yeah, because see. Um, I've said all I have to say. I feel like moving <laughs> forward, they should just um, carry those in charge.